Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a beautiful pool and you guys might have wondered, I mean it's a really nice picture, uh, why was I always zoomed out where it was so blurry? Uh, well the reason is it gets blurry the further you zoom out, I didn't want you guys seeing this text, which might have given it away. Now to me, I don't actually know what language this is in, it looks like Hebrew to me, it might not be Hebrew. But other than Hebrew, I don't know what language it is. So, there's that. Does this look like Israel? Doesn't look like it to me, but you never know, I guess. Uh, we've got uh, this right over here. we got some trees. This, I mean, this pool just looks so cool. I mean, this is... I would I would love... I'd like to go here. Um, and then we got people just sitting out, relaxing, having a good time. Should I go and say that this is Hebrew? I guess why not, right? It's Hebrew, Israel. Are there? Are I mean, it's a pool, right? It's not like a lake. We're gonna go and say uh, we're gonna be I don't know near Tel Aviv or something. No, we're gonna go a little bit more north, right around here. Make the guess, and the answer was, yeah, there you go. We were in um, Beit Shean, right there. Well, there you go. Oh, look at that. There's all sorts of watery squares around here. And this is, well, you, you don't, I don't really know what this is. Maybe some kind of a river, might have been a pool. I have no idea, but there you go. That's where we were. We were in Israel. I doubt you guys really could have figured that out uh, because the writing was uh, pretty darn blurry. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge. And I think we found ourselves in some kind of uh, insane mythical land because this place's beauty is really beyond words well i mean it's not but just i think really the the nicest area i mean there's a beautiful lake over here there's some really nice hills towns and stuff but i don't know something about this area right over here this winding path these sort of fields that are different colors because i guess they're in different stages of being cultivated with whatever i mean just this area right over here wow that looks that looks like I don't even know what it looks like, but it's really beautiful. And so, I mean, look at this. Look at this line of uh, hills over over here. You know, right below that, like this, like green area. Ah, oh, that is. I mean, this place is really, really beautiful. And it's today's daily challenge, which means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. Put your guesses down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world you think this is. In tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there is no prize, uh, but there is glory to be won, so if you have any idea where in the world we could be, tell me. Where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in today's main section of the video, and today it is a viewer challenge, one brought to us by none other than our good friend Racing Gamer 145. Thank you so much, Racing Gamer 145. Hopefully, this challenge will, as I think all of your challenges have so far, feature one racetrack. Now, there's no theme uh, to this one, but I, as far as I can remember, I think all of your challenges have featured. A single racetrack in them or maybe two so if it does if it doesn't that's cool uh, but I am excited to see it um, the only one that I was able to figure out where it was was uh, Laguna Seca I believe uh, I don't know that's the only one I think I was able to figure out proper oh no there might have been one in Montreal but I don't know if that one was you anyways uh, let's give it a shot if you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, uh, you can look down in the description below, find a step-by-step -step guide how to create your custom challenge, and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along or send it to some friends. Okay, let's do it. Boom. All right, we're on some sort of observation deck somewhere, and we can move, thankfully, but let's take a look inside first. We got some cactuses. We got some uh, lights with some like strange like Xeon bulbs or whatever. Strange design, like white rocks. We're pretty high up in the air. We can see. <laughs> it looks uh, it looks really nice wherever we are. I can't tell where we are based on what I'm seeing, but um, you know, it's interesting. Let's go. Let's go on the roof. Let's find out what uh, what more can there be to this place. Well, if we go here, we can see. You know, there's some um, you know satellite dishes and stuff like that. Telecommunications equipment. Uh, an LG Multi V. Now, an LG, an LG air conditioning unit, are those super common here? 
And the answer to that is they're probably common all over the world. Uh, uh, for whatever reason, uh, when I see that, I think, I mean, I think like, oh, we're gonna be in, we're gonna be in like South Korea. But I mean, of course, no. I think LG sells air conditioning machines everywhere. And looking at this, this doesn't look like South Korea at all. This building looks interesting to me. In fact, this looks, this looks rather North American. Um, let's see. Well. The cars are on the right side of the road. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the cars are on the right side of the road. This does look... I mean, there's a big roundabout here, but cars are going clockwise around it, so that seems North American to me. Maybe... I mean, just by the look of it, kind of, right? Maybe not. It rules out certain countries, but it doesn't rule them all out let's go let's go look a little bit more see if we can find some clues as far as i can see not really there's some flags over here what kind of flags i can't tell what kind of flags those are there's also a big hotel um but that's about it there's some big mountains maybe we're in south america big roundabouts interesting yeah this car seems to be facing away from us that's good Wow, I I really don't know. I don't know how to I don't know what to make of all of this. This is I mean it's very nice wherever this is. It looks like uh I mean it's interesting, right? Because there's like there's big big roads. Like look at this. This is like a two-lane road, big roundabout and stuff, but there's like big green empty fields in the middle of this city. It's interesting. Lots of green space. That's cool. Um, there's like a big hotel conference center, but again, the cars seem to be driving on the right side of the road, which, lead, which rules out Australia or New Zealand, which is where I would have guessed. But, we're not there, so we know that much. Oh, okay, so we can't, uh, we can't go back from around here. Now, I'm gonna go back over this way, and we're gonna give, uh, give things just another look. What does this say? This says... I don't know what that says. That says something. And what is what does this say? What language can we tell? No. And there's no other binoculars. Hmm. Now, of course, if I move this way, the binoculars no, they haven't moved directions. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? So this is the best location I can get to look and it looks like it says it doesn't look like it says warning. It, it, I don't know what it says, though. So it's in a language that I believe is not English. Okay. Because it doesn't look like it says warning, but it might say tension. Okay, look at this. Bricolor. Bricolor. And it's a big soccer field. Maybe we're in Mexico. Do I think we're in Mexico? I mean, not really. I don't really think we're in Mexico. Big soccer field like that. Maybe we're in Argentina? Arjun, no, yeah, maybe, hmm, this is, oh, look, there's the sea, and it's to our, okay, there's a big body of water, and the big body of water is to our west, all right, so what do we get from all of that information? We're in a country where people drive on the right side of the road, so that rules out, like, here and here, there's a big body, of, I mean, it looks rather hot, but not too hot. I mean, everything is nice and green. Uh, the language may or may not be English. If it is English, I think we might be on the west coast. But it's hard to tell. Um, we could or we could not be in Mexico. Again, that's also hard to tell. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what to do. I mean, could we just be in? Could we just be in uh, California somewhere? Could we be like, um, I don't know, could this be something like Marco Bay or, or whatever that is? Maybe. Are there mountains like this in that area in California? There could be. The climate seems right, but I don't really think we are there. I think we're somewhere a lot more intriguing than that. Yet, I have no idea. There's like a sundial there. Oh, man. Where could we possibly be? Hmm, well, Brico Fur. All right, we're not in America. We know that much. Could we be in Europe? We could. Could indeed be in Europe, although I don't really think we are. 
the yeah the ocean is well it's kind of to the south it's kind of to the it's kind of to the should I just go Mexico because I don't think we're in any one of these countries here and I guess we could be in Mexico but I mean really is that a possibility I mean I guess it is but it just seems a bit strange doesn't it we could be like around over here in Cabo San Lucas. Are there roundabouts? No, there are there are big intersections. Ah, oh, man, I I don't I don't know. I don't know where we are at all. This is I mean it's a really nice place. I guess I kind of have to guess that because anywhere else in the world we things would be different. I mean, we could no, we can't be in that. That drives on the wrong side. I really don't think we're in Europe, but we could be. Could we be in Asia? Could we be in? Could we be in like South Korea? No, we can't really be in South Korea. Ah man, this is so confusing. I guess I am gonna go with California against my better instincts, and we're gonna call this Ocean Side. Let's make the guess, and the answer was Italy. Okay, Italy. Well, the ocean's on the west, so there is that. But did that look like Italy to me? I mean, the language, okay, Italy. You know what, the more I think about it now, the more I think, you know what, that makes sense. It didn't look like Oceanside, California, by the way. I do know that. But, wow, not really really not that much to go for. I did you know, one company named like Brickolfer, I didn't know in the language. I, I kind of figured it wasn't English, but I wouldn't have really guessed Italy. All right, but it doesn't make a lot of sense now that I think about it. That would be Italy. It's a place called Latina, just south of Rome. Wow, 449. Okay. Well, here we are in, wow, a really nice place. Okay, another cool area. Well, what can we see about it? We've got uh, we got some big buildings over here. Um, I don't know. This building looks rather familiar for whatever reason. Is it is it finished or is it not finished? I don't know. Well, okay, things are kind of uh, tropically. Let's get ourselves some language. That would be really good if we could get some of that. If we could see what kind of language we're dealing with, that would really help. Okay, what kind of license plates are we dealing with first? We're dealing with good old uh, Plant Williamson uh, Rowing Pavilion. We're dealing with not. We're dealing with like Australian license plates, as far as I can tell on this one. Uh, that org.au, great. All right, Australian license plates. Now this city, citywide, yeah, citywide. What what city? I don't know. People are they're dumping a bunch of stuff now. This reminds me of Albert Road Drive to Aquatic Drive. Is well, this is a really big city now? Would this be a Sydney or would it be a Melbourne or would it be? Uh, we're in Albert Park. Does it say what city we're in? I mean, it probably does, but. Albert Park, owners of this land, uh, we acknowledge the traditional owners of this land. That's a good thing. Let's, uh, let's, should we move? Yeah, I mean, hold on, let's see, what, what does this say? What does this sign right here say? Albert Park, um, the point, okay, so we got, there's a point wherever we are, uh, and, uh, okay, Albert Park, park information, Healthy park, healthy people, indoor sports, Lago, uh, Melbourne sports, and a Melbourne. Okay, that's good. I knew looking at signs would help. Okay, so we know we're in a place called Albert Park, a park, and there's a thing called Lakeside. Also, we can see that the city main section is north of us. We can zoom in and see there's a big thing called Albert Park, and there's a thing called uh, Lakeside that's over here. Lakeside Stadium, the Melbourne. Um, all right, we can see that. Now, if we return to start location, which I keep forgetting where that is. It's right here. We can see that uh, that is to the south of us. And um, this big thing right here, which curves down this way, is to the left. To, yeah, it's to the left of us, which if we were on this side, it would be on the right of us. 
but this water right now is just straight up oh it's due south okay that's good so if we're right here then that is to the left of us okay uh no it's not if we're there then the water is south and we're like at the end um and yeah we're like at the we're like at the end over here that's straight south okay hmm well what if we were like here then this would that would just end uh gun island maybe around here or maybe here or maybe there all right i'm gonna just say we're here and we'll just make that and uh, the answer was uh okay we were over here uh that might make a little bit more sense yeah because all right that yep yeah, that makes sense right there gun i um okay i see uh, 64, 24. That's close enough. Okay. Uh, this, um, wow, okay, interesting. What language is this? Vas profen, okay, partner, uh, svete. Uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, but we've got little swoops in the language. So that means that that could be, it could be, uh, it could be Czech. Right, check a swoops. Yeah, check a swoops. We could be in um, there's there's swoops in yeah Slovakia. That makes sense. But there's also swoops in other languages. Uh, are there the swoops in this one? No, I don't think there are. Or no, no, it's not Latvia either that there are the swoops. Is it in? It's in. It's in Hungary that there are the swoops. No. What what other language was there swoops? Is it just uh, Czech in Slovakia? I mean that would make sense, wouldn't it? All right. So uh, let's go work. Let's 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 go right off the assumption that we're in one of those two countries. Which one are we going to be in? Well, we got a sign over here. It looks like it might actually tell us something about the city we're in. Um, so what have we got here? Um, Stokova. All right, that stuff. And I'm just trying to read. Uh. Yeah, you know what? I, I Oh, CZ. Okay, that's good. So CZ. And what can I tell about this city that we're in? Uh, B-R-N-A. B-R-N-O. That makes sense. That seems good. Um, okay, so we've got that. And is there a central square to this city that I can immediately see? I mean, there probably is, like, uh, like this thing over here. Is this a big triangle shape? It's not really, but that's fine. I think that's probably where we are, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, B-R-N-O, okay, that's good. Um, so I think, yeah, I think that's probably very very close to where we are. Now, this problem probably isn't the city central area. Uh, it does seem like it's empty, though, uh, because this is everything else is rather full with buildings, at least as far as I can tell. There are like little areas like this that we could easily just be in, uh, but uh, let's let's keep on moving, seeing if there's see what we can see. Well, we got a big statue. There's something in the middle of this though, and if I go and look at this, I can see. You see, there's this. Is that this? I, I don't know. I mean, it could be, but uh, where else could we be here? Oh, look at this. There's no. Nope, that's not still not good. What about? Um, okay, this one's a little bit more square shaped. And then we got a big hotel. All right, this one is square shape, and there's a road that goes around in a ring. We can't see the thing that's in the middle. Maybe the thing that's in the middle is not uh, important enough. Let's return to the start location and see where do things go. All right, if we're here, uh, we are on uh, we're east facing right now, so we would be right around this corner over here. Then what do we got? We've got uh, this on a road that goes down that way, and then up, and something over here, some sort of weird uh, square-type road thing, which is like a section that pops out there. That's good. What do we got directly above us? We've got a road that goes like this, and then we've got this thing over here that's going around perhaps this statue. So I think that is indeed exactly where we are, and we are we got a corner here so we are somewhere like right there let's make the guess and the answer was that's exactly where we were 0 0.007 kilometers away boom ah oh, you didn't disappoint did you 
This is a racetrack. Awesome. Okay. Racetrack. I don't recognize it. I, I, there's very, very few racetracks I'll ever recognize. And uh, this is not necessarily one of them. I mean, it's not one of them. I'm going to say that right off the bat. I mean, I might, you know, if you tell me a little bit about it, I might be like, oh, yeah, I've heard of something that's happened there. I'm not really into racing, but, like, I don't know. I've, I've seen some content that has to do with racing. I mean, there was that movie that came out last year, Rush. That was really good. Uh, Circuit of the Americas. Okay, that's probably a good... Circuit of the Americas. Well... Of the Americas feels like something that would be in South America, but the English makes me feel like we might not be in South America, and it's in America because we've got that, and it's in Texas. Okay, then yeah, yeah, Texas sounds like a state that would say that as well. Um, but I would, I would more think about like you know, Circuit of America, but of the Americas is fine. Um, so we're in Texas. Uh. Is K. Okay. Uh, where, where San Antonio sounds like a place that would have uh, a pl uh, uh, a racetrack like this, right? Uh, Circuit of the Americas. Now I don't know where it is uh, at all. Uh, not even close. Um, so I probably should I just I don't really want to zoom in a bunch of times. Houston uh, could be like I don't know. I don't even know where I would even look for it really. Uh, we could be in, like, we could even be in something like a Corpus Christi, really. Um, Corpus Christi Airport. Oh, I thought I was close on that one. It's another airport type thing. Uh, no, it's, wow. They, they, people, wow. People love their, uh, airports, don't they? Corpus Christi, big fan of them, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. There's a Portland, apparently, there. Hmm. Should, can I leave? Wow, there's the Crown Royal Suite or something. Can I leave this racetrack? All right, Bud Light. Oh, I'm seeing some advertising uh, that, you know, kind of makes sense. But I don't really think we're probably not able to get off this track, right? No, that would be a big surprise if we were, actually. Um, hmm. So, Texas Lottery. It's to be expected. All right. What city in Texas? I think I'm just going to have to make a guess, really. I doubt I'm going to see anything that's going to tell me where we are, other than knowing we're in Texas. Where do I think this racetrack in Texas is going to be? I don't think it's going to be in Austin. And for whatever reason, I don't think it's going to be in Houston or Dallas. But it might be in Houston or Dallas. It, 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 it should probably be. For whatever reason, I'm thinking, no, it's not going to be in Corpus Christi. That was a dumb guess. But San Antonio feels right. That feels like a big racing city, San Antonio. Feels like, but you know, that's where I would feel like we would find a big NASCAR uh, venue. I mean, there's probably a few big NASCAR venues in in Texas, but I feel like the I feel like I feel like the racetrack that I've heard of in San Antonio is a NASCAR track. So, uh, so that's that's it. Yeah, I feel like I've actually heard. A big race car track in San Antonio, but like, how could I find it? It's it's and it'll be too hard. Trader's Village. Wow. Okay. Um, Kirby. Oh, that's fun. Um. So yeah, I don't really don't think I'm ever gonna find it just by zooming in like this. I mean, what what is this? Let's take a big empty area. Okay. Um. So all right, we got that. Corpus Christi, uh, for whatever reason, sticks out in my mind as a place that might have this, but I, I, I have no idea. Again, I think I've done like a lap now of this. So, Circuit of the Americas, we're back at the beginning. I guess I'm going to have to go with San Antonio on this one, even though I think I'm thinking of an NASCAR track. The answer wasn't bad. It was right outside of Austin, so as far as things go, that's pretty good. Um, there you go, Austin 360 Amphitheater, Circuit of the Americas, Austin, okay, well, 3109, you know, as far as a Texas guest goes, that was alright, um, you know, San Antonio is a better guest than Dallas or Houston, so, that's it, 3109, awesome, and now, we've got, a, I think it was a dog here, yeah, there was a dog, I just wanted to look around first, okay, there's a dog, there's a lady, there's uh, Stena line. Stena line. I feel like I recognize that name. But I don't know from where. What else can we tell from this place by looking around? Stena line. 
I feel like I've seen a TV show about, about like, was it like a giant catamaran or something like that? No, that might not have been that. That might have not have, that might have been something else. Yeah, this doesn't look like, yeah, this doesn't look like a catamaran. This looks like it could be a, one of those giant catamarans, but this doesn't quite look like that. Anyways, I don't know where I think we are. We're somewhere that needs a ferry. So we're going to keep that in mind. We're going to go take a look at this parked car. See what kind of license plates that it's got. That's going to tell me a lot about where we are. Better still be parked there. Europe. Okay. It's not going to say that that's surprising. Not going to say that it's entirely expected as well. Okay. So we're in Europe in a place that's going to need ferries. So, I mean, immediately you think, I mean, there's going to be a lot of ferries and stuff. Um in in uh, you know these countries up here especially when you know there's a whole bunch of islands and stuff like that that are involved same thing around here i'm thinking maybe more in this area here around stockholm helsinki something like that like we're in a turku or something like that if i had to just make a guess i would say we are in turku but i don't actually know is there a river that runs through or in and around i mean yeah you could say those are rivers yeah, you you one would say one would say that's a river, and one would say there's a big opening over here to the south uh, southwest, which is kind of like this right there. Okay, so if that's where that is, then we must be. I mean, we're pretty far, and there's also the question of this right here. <clears throat> so, Turku might be out of the question. And it probably is out of the question, so I probably shouldn't be thinking about it too much. But it is a tempting thought, really. All right, so we're in Europe somewhere. Can I can I leave this? We're probably not here. You know, as much as I would like it to be as simple as just zooming in on a place like that and saying that's where we are, I kind of doubt it's going to be that easy. My real question is, can I get somewhere? Now, we got some signs. Maybe I can read them. and Maybe that's going to give me an idea of what kind of language we're dealing with. Well, max 30, I mean, kilometers, Tim. All right. Well, that's that means it's not English, but that's almost what I expected. I feel like Stena line probably should tell me where we are right off the bat. It's probably a ferry line from a certain company. I've definitely heard about it before, but I do not. Well, okay, we left quite quickly, too. Um, Okay. What does this say? Panorama Wagen. Uh, all right, that's good. It is is the A with a no? It's vegan, right? Yeah, I think it's or e, it's vegan. I think, yeah, I think it's vegan. All right. So what have we what do we got around here? We just had some. We just got some people walking around. What do we have? I mean, it's kind of like it's an interesting language. I don't really, I don't really exactly understand it. Telephone, okay, uh, I mean, that looks like Swedish, it is Swedish, that's good, uh, because we got the A's, we got the, we got the O's here, we got the O's here, we got the, I, I mean, I'm just a, I, I kind of forget, but I think that's how they're pronounced, I, I, I keep forgetting, I try to remember these things, then we got some people walking about, that's nice, um, we're in, we're in Sweden, okay, so let's zoom out of Finland, oh, no, we were zoomed into Sweden, but the water seemed to be on the wrong side. It might have been... Okay, well, we, eh, I mean, it's kind of. Killer's Park. Panorama. Yeah, we were right there. Okay, we were right over here. There you go. Beautiful. We were in Gothenburg. Make the guess, and the answer was, yep, that's it. <laughs> oh, is he, once, once you see the right place, you're like, oh, yeah, that is exactly where we were. Uh, you know, you see this, I was like, oh, that's... That's that's exactly it. We were right there. There was a thing we saw. There's the river. It all added up. 64, 73. Awesome. So, one bad guess. A bunch of other really good ones. I mean, that one was pretty difficult. I would never have guessed Italy. I knew it wasn't Southern California, but I just had no better guesses to make. Uh, we were in Gothenburg in Sweden. We were in uh, Brno. Berna, I don't know. We were there in the Czech Republic. Uh, we were in Melbourne in Australia. We were in uh, Austin, Texas. And then we were in Italy, which I think I already said. Awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed this one. This was a great one. 22934. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And as always, 
I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.